we have our first successful batch after all the uh, vacuum air number nine errors and we had our uh, vacuum down to like 200 and some millitors so the batch is completed so now we'll, we'll test this batch and we'll see if it's there that we're all done next step for the freeze dryer it's going to be our first full batch after we finally fix the vacuum air number nine leak so we're going to do some uh, french fries we're going to slice up some potatoes and then we're going to freeze dry those of course we'll, we'll soak them in water first you know that that makes them cook up a little bit better take some of the starches out of it and then we're going to salt them and then we'll freeze dry them that way and then we'll see uh, how they turn the batch turns out and then if we like that's a good way to store the potatoes for a long time so stay tuned we're going to start slicing them up we got this nice little french fryer thing it's going to stick potato in here just slice them that makes them all the same size well the process begins well yeah, maybe maybe <laughs> i don't know how well this thing's gonna work I don't I don't think I've ever used it before so maybe it needs to be a little bit just stick another potato in there and see if we keep maybe pushing I got it out this in the wrong way but we got a little bit figured out on how to use the the slicer now uh, we're just trying to do it sitting down you got to stand up to do is it Ooh. but you can see uh, all the the starches coming out of the potatoes they cook up better that way i changed the water on this one once so that's pretty good it's, it's not too bad now so we're going to continue slicing them up put them in the slicer and and then it just kind of push down and shoves it out all sliced same size uh, that way they they cook up better so we'll continue on once we get these done then uh, after we get them rinsed off, then we'll put them on the trays, and then we'll we'll see if our our first full batch after our vacuum error has been fixed, and we'll keep going from there. We're gonna do our second batch after we fix the vacuum error number nine, and the one batch we did while I was doing testing. You know, I don't really count that as a complete batch, but it did complete without any errors. So we, we sliced up in French fry size in some raw potatoes. And then we put a tray of sweet potatoes in there because we're going to see how those work. And then we're going to try putting them back in the fryer after we soak them in, in some water and then see how they fry up. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue on here. We are now freezing. It's starting to go and we're gonna let that go right now it is uh, 10 o'clock at night so we'll have a good um, you know eight hours or so before i get up and we'll see how it's going there it should be in the vacuum freezing at that stage and we'll, we'll see how it goes because uh, i think we've got it fixed so i left the cover off just in case because i didn't want to go through put it on and take it off uh, that's not good. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to let this run and fingers crossed that we got all the leaks fixed. We're in the finishing stages for the uh, French fries, both regular potato and sweet potatoes. And I've noticed one thing here that this has only been 16 hours. I think the first batch I run was still like 24 hours. So I think that fix has gone through and uh, speeded things up a little bit because it seemed to be working a little better and if you notice right over in here we're in a dry we started in the drying phase so our vacuum pump is off and we're at 184 millitors at just 84 85 uh, so that's doing pretty good so let me uh, pause we did get the cable the new cable uh, that was the epoxy one that we were doing so let me hold hold on here. Let me get that cable and we'll show you what that looked like. Okay, here's the package they sent us. Now if you remember right, the first time we epoxied the cables, we epoxied them 
right here at these wires. Now you notice on this one, they put some epoxy, it's some white epoxy. The one I have on this machine did not have any epoxy on there. And when you look at the bottom of the connector, that also has some epoxy on it down there to seal up those wires. So they know they had a problem because they made a change in it. Now, this part here, this different color here, that goes inside of the unit in here. On the back of this tray, those wires go down. They put another connector in there because I'm not sure exactly what you're going to have to do, but these wires right here, I don't know if they're, they're not coming in focus very well. These wires right here, those ends go into this connector. And then these two wires, now I see how they, there's only one wire to disconnect. So you've got the two power wires, or there's one power wire. There's the other power wire. And these right here, this connector fastens into that circuit card right back here. So th that's what you'd have to do. You'd have to take all this out, pull that cable off there, and I'm assuming that you can't pull that connector through here is why it's not on there, but I don't know. So looking at this, we have all this epoxy on here. This is epoxy and it's not going anywhere. Uh, we have this connected over here. So the first initial problem, that cable would not have fixed it because this sensor back here was not even on tight. So I think we have it fixed. If we don't have it fixed, I do have another cable right here that we can put in if we need to. Uh, I'm going to just store it in the back of the unit for now just so I don't lose it. But it looks like it's working. So we had the first initial test, and then this is the first batch that we hadn't been running on before. Uh, so that is working. I think one more test, and I'm gonna call this fixed. Uh, I'm quite happy with the results, not the fact that we had to do all this extra work, but I think this is gonna help everybody else out on, on doing that. Get a hold of them. If you wanna go through the work, to do the change, change in the cable, which if you don't know what you're doing, you're better off to just epoxy it, because that's a much easier task to do. Uh, if you're comfortable with changing it, I think uh, overall, the long run, changing, putting this new cable on with those epoxy in there might still be the, okay. You, you have these threads, you're gonna have to put the Teflon tape on it. Now, if you notice when I did this one, I epoxied these wires and that did not solve the problem. I had to epoxy this in as well. So you may still have a leak here anyway. So if you're gonna to have to put epoxy on it anyway, you might as well just epoxy the whole thing. So that's just kinda of, uh, what I found when I'm looking at here, but I do have this and I will keep it with the unit back here. I'll put it inside of here when I get ready to button it up so it's in there so I don't have to worry about losing it. So I think we're going to call this one done. One more test to verify, and I think we're set. So stay tuned on the results. We had oil get cloudy. I'll put a video up uh, when we run at the of uh, all these tests. It had gotten cloudy, and then when I drained it, you'll see how, how yucky that was. And uh, let me go over here and show you after I've drained it. It looks really nice and clear but let's go in here and look and see this is what we ended up with in the top of this on top of that filter so I don't know what was going on but I'm thinking it was probably pulling some of the the junk that was in there but anyway that does look nice and clear so I think I can use it after sending it to the filter stay tuned for more uh, make sure you like and subscribe hit that bell notification so you can uh, make sure you don't miss any videos uh, on the, this error problem we have here or any of the freeze drying uh, projects I'm working on uh, also I have other uh, videos out here on, on uh, how to fix things how to do things yourself remember the channel I called learn to do it yourself 
because that's what we're doing. If I know how to do it, I'm going to show you how I do it. If I don't know how to do it, you might watch me struggling through, figuring out how to do it. But if I can figure it out and help you out, that way you don't have to figure it out so hard. You make it so hard. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.